So this is a strange setup. The uh, backup light, see I have the car in reverse right now. It's two blue wires. <laughs> so there's a couple black dots on one and I hooked the multimeter up and sure enough the hot wire is this one right here. So that's what we're going to tap into for powering our backup camera and our parking sensors. Apologize about the wind. So right in the camera I just drilled a small hole here in the bumper cover. Uh, just fish the wire down. See it's coming out the bottom there so I should be able to run it back up and pop it through here. I'm going to end up having the brain of the sensor unit in here and uh, then run the wiring back up through there to the front. Using the supplied hole saw drill that they give you, I'm going to drill four, four evenly spaced holes for your sensors. It's important to label the wires. I just go one, two, three, four across so I'll know which is which. I'm just fishing through and I'll snap them in until I'm done. In other words, you get all the retainers pushed in and you get a screwdriver very carefully on the last one. You just kind of push it in and then they'll stay. So that's the trick. There's the wire connections. Get all the hot wires that turn on everything going to the hot backup wire and then obviously the ground to a ground spot. And then fishing wires is not fun but something you gotta do so you start with, with the big end wherever it's gonna be and then start fishing the smaller wire so this one runs underneath the floor over to here and then it meets up with the camera wire that's going to go to the visual display and then it just runs all the way to the back and then there is a pass through right behind the seat that goes to the trunk and then it meets up with the control box in the back. Side wiring is basically done. Put all this trim back together, clean these up a little bit more. So it appears that the camera's working. It appears that we got a false sensor that side. 